I have an alphabet book for you this morning called Eating the Alphabet, Fruits and Vegetables from A to Z. And it is by Lois Erlert. I hope I'm saying that right. Apple to zucchini, come and take a look. Start eating your way through the alphabet book. A, A is for lots of good foods like um, artichoke, apricot, avocado, apple, and asparagus. There's that funny looking A that when we had our Google Meet and we were talking about, like you never write the A like that, but you'll see it like that in books, so you have to know what it is. There's that lowercase A. B, mm, blueberry, Brussels sprouts, beans, beets, broccoli, and banana. I'll start with the letter B. C, currant, those are kind of berry, corn, celery, cucumber, cabbage, cherry, carrot, and cauliflower. D is for date. E is for endive, an eggplant. F is for fig. G is for gooseberry. I've never had a gooseberry. Have you ever had a gooseberry before? Grapefruit, grapes, and H is for huckleberry. And I've actually had huckleberry. Not plain, but I've had it in a pie, a huckleberry pie. I is for Indian corn. Indian corn is the corn that is all different colors. You see it in the fall. J is for jalapeno and jicama. K is for kumquat and kiwi fruit and kohlrabi. L is for lemon, leek, lettuce, and lime. Mm, M is for melon and mango. N is for nectarine. O is for okra, orange, and onion. P is for peach, pineapple, pear, papaya, persimmon, plum, and pomegranate. A lot of great things that start with letter P. So great, it goes on to the next page. Parsnips, potatoes, peas, peppers, pumpkins. Q is for quince. R is for rutabaga, raspberry, radish, rhubarb. You have to hold it this way to read the rhubarb. Rhubarb and radicchio. S is for a swish shard, which is kind of lettuce, spinach, star fruit, strawberry, and T is for turnip, t -t tangerine, and tomato. And U is for ugly fruit. I actually have had ugly fruit. We had it at school one time. V is for vegetable maro, vegetable maro. And W is for watermelon and watercress. X is for ziqua, ziqua, I think that's how you say it. Y is for yam, you might know it better as like a sweet potato. And Z is for zucchini. Oh my goodness, I didn't know there were fruits and vegetables that started with every letter of the alphabet. Kind of made me hungry. Now, today we are starting to work with the short O sound. The short O sound is ah, right? Short O, that's why it's front and center. All the vowels are still at the front. We're really going to focus on those sounds. O says ah, I, 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 A, 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 E, E. E, U, uh, U, P, P, S, 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 M, 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 D, 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 K, 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 W, 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 C, 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 Q, 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 L, O, L, J, 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 B, B, B. Now, it's really important that when you're saying the sound of B, you're not saying B, because there's no B there. It's not B, uh, like a U sound. It's just B. Cut it off. B. 
All right, because if you are saying buh for the B sound and you're trying to sound out a word, you're gonna put an extra sound in there. So make sure that B sound sounds like buh. H, H, Z, 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 N, 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 G, 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 that hard sound, right? X, 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 R, 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 T, T. Now it's not tuh, it's t. Y, 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 V, 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 and F, F. Taking a look at your high frequency words. Here's the words that you got last week. You got D, I, D, did, did. A D at the front and a D at the, the back. D, id, did. The other new word that you got was girl. G I R L girl at can can his have we I as 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 quiet as a mouse you G go of, of, did you remember that one? Of, am, see, and the last one is t, two. All right, like I said, we are going to be really focusing on that short O, ah, sound with Hegarty. So I'm going to say a word that starts with that short O sound, really emphasizing the ah sound that O makes, and then I want you to do the same. On. Odd, ox, ostrich, onto, and opposite. That's a word that you're familiar with. We've talked about opposites. All right, now I'm chopping the word into its three different sounds. They're all short O words. Tell me what you hear. D -ot. Dot, did you say it before I did? Ox, box, g, ot, got, op, hop, ot, hot. Did you hear how the only difference in those words were the ending sound? Ot and op. Hmm, gotta be listening very carefully from beginning to end. J, ob, job. Lot, lot, m, um, mom, m, op, mop, n, ot, not. All right, here comes that roller coaster, but this time at the top, you'll have that short o ah sound. So our word is sob, sob, and sob means to cry. Knock, n, ah. Hot, t, ot, lock, lock, gob, g, ob, cot, k, ot, mob, m, ob, rock, r, ock, pod, p, odd, and nod, n, odd. Did you hear the last two they rhymed? Pod, nod. All right, your turn. Get your choppers ready. You're going to be breaking a word into its three separate sounds. And they're all short O words, all of them. All right, your word is pop. P -op. Good. Pot. P -ot. Rod. Rod. Top. T -op. Box. B -ox. Sock. Ock, got, g, ot, knob, n, ob, like the doorknob, dock, d, ock, rock, r, ock. Did you hear how those last two words rhymed? Dock and rock. They sounded like they rhyme. All right, changing the beginning sound. I've got the word cop. I'm going to change the k 
to a t top dot change the d to a p pot sock change the s to a r rock rod change the r to a n nod top change the t to a h hop all right, did you hear that? We are actually manipulating words within the same word family. Remember how like, last week we talked about word families? All of those words, when we change the sound, we're words in the same word family. All right, adding to the beginning. Ot plus p pot. Ock plus r rock. Odd plus s sod. Ob plus j job. And om um plus t, tom. Did you hear it? T, um. All right, now we're taking that first sound away. Here we go. Pod, take away the p. You still have odd. Lot, take away the l. You still have ot. Fox, take away the f. You still have ox. Sock, take away the s. You still have and knob, take away the n, you still have ob. Brand new nursery rhyme today, at least the beginning of it. Ready? Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. That's it for today, just the very first rhyming pair, diddle and fiddle. I'll see you in a few minutes because we are getting a brand new letter today.